Hi, flower friends. I right, here we have a common enemy. Oh, tarnished plant bug. <laughs> How I loathe thee. Oh, tarnished plant bug, I have a gift for you, from me. Your proper name, Lugio Linealaris. I don't even care. Us. Your fierce bite upon my precious blooms. It opens with holes and scars, makes my brain fume. So I've thought and thought again about how to get rid of you, my friend. <laughs> oh, it's payback time. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> 10 bucks that my kids are watching me from the upstairs windows right now <laughs> and shaking their heads. And that's okay. <laughs> oh. In all seriousness, guys, I got this new Chapin Pro Series. Um, and I'm wearing my pink pants today. And I told my daughter that I was the pink pantser. <laughs> she did not get a kick out of that. Okay, so I haven't set this up yet, but um, I'm gonna attempt to do this by myself. I am home by myself today, and it's got the parts. Came right out of the box just like this. So the reason that I bought this is because I have a one gallon shape, and it's right here, I'll grab it. Okay, so I've been using this one gallon shape, and it's been okay for me for a long time. And I was using Captain Jack's dead bug so I had to stop spraying, come back and fill four times the other day when I was doing all the dahlias, I did the sunflowers because that tarnished plant bug is ruining my buds. It's eating the tops of everything. I hate it. Plus I'm starting to see Japanese beetles, etc., etc. So I have neem oil and I have Captain Jack's and I'm alternating between the two. So I'll explain more on that later. But like I said, I had to stop four times and I, some of you guys are familiar with my property. It takes me a couple minutes to walk back to the house and refill. So, because my hose is the house, da, da 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 So I said, you know what, this is stupid. I'm gonna get a four gallon backpack one and then that it'll make my life easier. I'll fill it once and then I'll be able to spray everything and then good to go. So let's see if we can put this thing together. So this is how it came out. It came with instructions. Is the top so here's this it comes with the backpack I need to um, tighten the straps I think in order to for it to fit better obviously okay so let's see what this is so this is a screen it's got like a, a filter right here which is great okay so this is a model um, it says right here six one five zero zero you guys want to get sprayed okay I should probably read the instructions huh Okay, I was able to take a look at the instructions a little carefully before I turned the camera on and just read silently for 10 minutes. Okay, so this, that's my new, it's my new baby. Hi, what you doing? Hi. And all of a sudden today she just came out to the front and, hi, I know. And she's just so sweet. Oh, I love them so much. Okay, all right, Whew, distraction. So this is already connected when it comes in the box. And then this is like how you spray it. And then this gets connected to this bottom part right here. So these three pieces, these three black pieces come detached from the sheet. This is clearly the nozzle and it just has a screw on. They screw right there. Nice and tight. Okay. And then this has this ball piece right here that most obviously just sits in this top part and then you screw that piece on. Okay. So then you get the part with the handle, which is this third piece that we have here. Hello baby. And then the th this handle part goes inside here. It's got a little hole right here on it. Make sure that hole is straight up and down. Put that through there and then I'm going to tilt it on its side and underneath there's a little space and it comes with a little bag of parts don't lose it there's a little black clip in here and this goes in here to keep the handle in place this is held in place when you want it to be right there oh I see I see I see there is a hole 
here. <laughs> Help! Oh. Oh. There she is. This goes in there and then in here. <gasps> That's how the pressure builds, guys. Oh, awesome. All right, I'm gonna put this thing on my back and see what's up. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Okay, for real though, guys. I got this because I think it's super duper duper amazingly important to keep up with the pests because we're not growing things to have them open and bloom and have spots and little pests and chew marks and all that fancy stuff. And it's not just the tarnished plant bug. I mean, I think we're all dealing with a little bit of the Japanese beetles right now. I'm just starting to see them in my area. I also have those rose beetles, <sighs> all sorts of nasty little critters. So, and this is, oh, I lost the, got it. <laughs> so this for me is, what I wanna to use to try to tackle this problem. So what I'm doing is Captain Jack's dead bug. It takes care of thrips, spider mites, caterpillars, things like that, the loomers. Anyway, there's the package is on the ground, let me grab it. Okay, so Captain Jack's dead bug. Loopers, leaf miners, I say loomers. Spider mites. <laughs> I shouldn't talk. Spider mites. Could you imagine spider butts? <laughs> Just thinking about a dog with eight legs running around. Little oh, spider butt! Anyway, this is a concentrated formula. It's much cheaper to buy it in the concentrated formula and then you use it. So for four gallons, let me just open this up and read it. So how to apply, da 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 da, when to apply, which is also very important. So per gallon would be two ounces. So if I was, I was to do four gallons in this, I would use half of this bottle, which would equal eight ounces per the four gallons. And then divide it. If you only have the gallon sprayer, which I have right here. Oh, geez Louise, I'm gonna step out of chicken. Oh. <laughs> They're underfoot. So if you only have the gallon one, two ounces, right? And so on, you guys can do math, just check it out. So I'm gonna be doing this once, not every week, because I'm alternating. So last Monday I did this. Tonight I'm doing neem oil. And neem oil, same thing, read the calculations. I need to watch where I'm stepping because these baby chickens, I love them so much. Okay, so this is the neem oil extract. It's a concentrate. And this one, I can't remember. I always have to look it up. I always double check how much I'm using. Uh, what does it say? Use, 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 use. Two tablespoons per gallon of water, or one fluid ounce. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. So I would use four ounces per gallon. So I'll put it in here. And I'm gonna be reusing this. I'm gonna be rinsing it out. And I might even use it for uh, fertilizing too, guys. I don't know, Make, I'm thinking about that. So anyway, you don't have to get the big four gallon one. I have, 50 plus rows of stuff that I'm doing and it just takes a lot. And when I did my dahlias last week, cause that's where the um, tarnished plant bugs are, all over my dahlias, I, I can't have them on my dahlias. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, Captain. Captain, <laughs> Captain Jack. So, uh, nope, I'm gonna do everything that I can organically to get rid of these pests. So last Monday I did Captain Jack's. Tonight I'm doing a neem oil application. Do it at night. Don't do it in the morning, don't do it in the middle of the day for several reasons. First of all, these will impact pollinators. The Captain Jacks only will kill a bug if it eats the plant you spray on it. So bees aren't eating your plant, but if it gets on them while they're flying, it could impact them negatively. So we spray at night, at dusk, when the pollinators have gone to bed. So by the time the stuff is dry, and then the other plants that come and start to nibble on your plant, that's when they're going to be impacted by these products. It's not just simply being on the bug. So uh, just so you know, 
do not spray in the middle of the day, do not spray in the early morning when the pollinators are coming out, and a lot of times it will not be effective until it dries. So, and there's other things you can spray too, uh, BT and uh, diatomaceous earth, which I do have both of those. I just have not gone with that application yet so far this year. So, next Monday I'll do Captain Jack's again. So I'm gonna be alternating every week in order to get this problem under control because no, like I said, I don't want to have dahlias that are tarnished by the darn tarnished plant bug. Nobody wants that. So another thing about this is these two products will be, um, if it gets a heavy downpour or rain, their effectiveness will diminish. So you need to make sure that your, oh, that's where the red thing goes. It goes in here, doesn't it? I have a red part that I was like, where does that go? It goes in here. So, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, it bounced all over the place. Okay, so make sure that it's not, you're not expecting a big downpour when you're about to do this, okay? Don't, don't expect a big downpour. And it's super simple. This is, you do, get the handle. You get the handle. Pump, pump, pump. You can feel the pressure building up. You can hear it. See that magical thing happening? Up and down. It's building pressure. It's not really because there's no water in it. But if there was water in it, it would build the pressure and you could feel it's gonna get harder and harder to pump. Same thing with this one gallon machine. If you guys, you know what? Let me show you how to do it. Oh, you can hear it. <laughs> Clearly it's empty. Okay, so for the, the one gallon thing, so it opens up right here. It locks so you can carry it like this. Unlock, pump, 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 pump and then you lock it again. And then, that had something in it from before, so. I'm not gonna put it on me, because I'm pretty sure it's neem oil, so. Anyway, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. This is, guys, this chicken is like under my feet. I feel like she knows that I just had a tragic loss if in my chicken family and she's just spending time with me today. She's never done this before. These, she was born in March. She doesn't even have a name, isn't that sad? What should I name her? She's so sweet. This is what happens, I fall in love. I fall in love. If you guys don't have bearded silkies, do yourself a favor. Get a bearded silky. Oh, she's just cuddling with me. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna start crying again if I don't go. All right, <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video, guys. What's the matter? <laughs> Oh, I love her so much. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. I'm not gonna do this right now, but isn't it cool looking? I feel like a bad, uh, bad butt. Can you swear on YouTube? I feel like a badass doing it. Bonjour! You looking at me? You looking at me? You wanna make a thing? We're coming for you, tarnished plant bug.